Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, this is my first video in like a month. I do apologize for not posting in the last month. Um, the reason for that is because half of the month I was sick. Um, I had the flu, thankfully I don't have it now. Um, and I also lost my nan recently. So, yeah, I'm still grieving. Um, so, yeah, anyway... Moving on, um, today I made a video about a month ago, um, about just showing, like, a bunch of books that I bought recently, and I also mentioned that I am going to start, um, making a video at the end of every month showing all the books that I bought that month, if I bought any. Um, so basically, at the end of every month, so today I'm making my monthly july book haul i'm um, showing all the books that i bought this month and there is kind of a lot so i'm going to do try to do this rapid fire and i'm not going to go too much into detail through all the books but um yeah every month if i bought enough books to make a video i will make a video showing what i bought all the books that i bought that month but if i just bought like one or two maybe three books i'm not going to bother doing a video because that just the, what, how long would that video be? Five minutes? Maybe less? I mean, I made five minute video videos before, but yeah, if I just bought like three or three books or less that month, I just won't bother. But in this case, I have one book right here, a box filled with books right here, and then a bag full. The, I have the unhealthiest obsession with books. What can I say? Every time I go to a store, I don't leave. I've said this in a couple videos already. Every time I go to a store, I do not leave the store without looking at what books they, books they have available. Sometimes I won't get one. Sometimes I will. Usually I do end up getting one. But, yeah, I'm just going to jump right into it because, again, there is quite a lot of books. So, um, the first one I'm going to show is for my book club because I am a part of a book club. I think I mentioned that in my last book related video. Um, so this is our next book club read. Carrie Soto is back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I've heard a lot about a lot of good things about her book, so I'm excited to read this. I do own Malibu Rising. I think I showed that in my last book vi book related video as well. Um, but I have not read that one yet. Um, I think I mentioned in my last book related video as well that I wanted to buddy read that with my aunt because she also owns that book. I got it for her for Mother's Day, I think. Um, but yeah, I do want to buddy read that with her, but this is our next book club read. Carrie Soto is back. I've heard a lot of good things, so I'm excited for this. Um, so I just want to show that one. I'm, I'm currently reading Babyland by Holly Chamberlain. It's pretty good. And I hate, I, I can't, I literally cannot read m more than one book at once. I can't do it because I'll get so confused as to who's, which characters from which book and stuff like that. I will get so confused if I read more than one book at a time. I don't know how other people do it, but good for you, I guess. But yeah, when I finish Babyland, I will start reading this one. So Now on to all the actual books that I now own and bought this month. Um, well, I wouldn't say this month because... I am also going to include the books that I bought in June because I made that video um, in like early June or something like that. Um, and in that video I mentioned that the books that I bought from that point on to today I will show each book. So some of these books I bought this month, some of them I bought like sometime in late June or something. So but yeah, I'm sure you guys get what I mean. So, I'm not going to go in what order I got these books, because honestly, I, I, won't, I can't remember. I'm just going to go by what order I picked them up in, really. What I put my hands on. So, I bought Vet, Death at the Harborview Cafe, and it also comes with a bookmark. And it is also signed by the author, Fred Humber. So, that's fun. Um, I bought, the, there is actually a reason why I bought this one. Uh, um... Well, obviously, I love to read, but another reason why I bought this one, the main reason, is because I work at a gas station called Irving, and attached to Irving, this is based on a true story, by the way, attached to Irving is this cafe called the Harborview Cafe, obviously, and 
the Harborview Cafe, it actually used to be a whole different building um, at another place in town. It used to be like this yellow building, but I don't know what happened with that. Someone got killed there, and yeah. And now the Harborview Cafe is attached to the store I work at. So I'm, I'm not, so it's like a restaurant type thing. I'm not trained for the restaurant part yet. I'm not, my boss is, my boss said she's probably going to start training me for that sometime during the winter time. Um, because now we're at summer, we're super busy with ice cream. I'm currently being trained for the ice cream area. So yesterday and today I was working, serving ice cream and stuff. Um, I think I'm getting the hang of it, but I still need a bit of practice, but I'm getting there. But yeah, um, the cafe attached to the store or the gas station that I work at is called the Harbor U Cafe. And we also sell a few copies of these. I think we have like two copies left. And yes, they are all signed, I'm pretty sure. Or one of them is at least. I'm not sure about the other one. But yeah, basically it's about this guy that gets killed at the Harbor U Cafe, which is now the cafe and gas station that I work at, so... Yeah, that's probably the only reason, one of the only reasons why I bought it. But yeah, I also love true stories. I'm like, I don't have many stories about Newfoundland. Because like, this is about Newfoundland. I have another book called Murder of Minnie Cowan or something like that. Which is also based in Newfoundland. Um, so I don't have many Newfoundland related books. I have like two or three now I think and that's it. But I love getting books like these about Newfoundland which is where I'm from. So, yeah, so I got that one, and then, again, this is not an order, so, like, I don't know what order I got these two, but you know what I mean. I got Private Games by James Patterson and Mark, Mark, Mark Sullivan. I think um, my aunt gave me this book um, when my other nan came down, like, two weeks ago almost. She brought down a bunch of bags of stuff. Um, that my Aunt Carolyn sent down, um, because my aunt and my nan live together now. And so my aunt sent me down this book, so obviously I'm a huge James Patterson fan. I love his books, and the amount of James Patterson books that I will be showing in this video is unbelievable. Yeah, but yeah, I got this one. And then I also got Hide and Seek by Andrea Mara. Um, some of these books I can kind of, I kind of have an idea of what they're about. Because I have read the summary of a lot of these books. But what I can gather from the blurb and the summary is that this book, Hide and Seek, is about a woman who plays hide and seek with her daughter. And when she opens her eyes, her daughter is missing. And obviously, missing children are not... Is not a good thing to hear about. But this one, it just sounded really good to me. And I'm really into thrillers. Thrillers... Are, are like probably my favorite book genre ever so uh, I usually gravitate more towards thrillers than anything else but yeah I'm super excited to read this one and this one I actually I think this is the most recent book I bought I bought this one yesterday um, when I got off work I was like you know what I'm in the mood to get a new book today so I went to shoppers I think shoppers drug mart is the only place near me that has books that are available Foodland has some too it's a grocery store near me it's about five minutes away, but they only, they have, they don't have, like, a big selection of books, like, Walmart and stuff like that does. So, really, besides Shoppers and Foodland, the, the closest, I can't even speak, the closest place to me that has books available are, like, a good 25, 30 minutes away. But, yeah, I was in the mood to get a new book yesterday, and so I left work at 2 o'clock, went to Shoppers, and I got this book, Obsession by Lisa Jackson. Again, what I can gather from the blurb and the summary is that this is about a woman who is married, a woman named Kaylee is married to this guy named Zane Flannery, and and she, Kaylee is famous, she has it all, fame, fortune, money, whatever, and she starts getting stalked by one overzealous fan, and a few years go by, this fam was in prison for a while. He gets released and Kaylee and her husband are now divorced. And this fan starts stalking her again when he gets out of prison. And her ex-husband um, comes back into her life. Because obviously he still loves her, cares about her even though they're divorced. And yeah, he tries to protect her. So it sounded really good so I got it. 
I got The Silent Wife by Karen Slaughter. I got The Wrong Co-Star by Alexandra Moody. I don't know why, but this cover just... This cover and the title just screamed out to me. I bought this at the hospital gift shop. Um, and I, I wasn't going to get this one. I had like two or three books picked out and already paid for. And I was walking out of the gift shop when I passed this stack of books. And st I, so I started looking through them a little bit. And I don't know why, but this book screamed out to me a little bit. Um, this is only $2, so I took a toonie out of my wallet and I got it. I got The Quiet Tenant by Clemence Michelin. I, every time I look at a book, or I buy a book, I should say, I read the blurb, summary, whatever, and then I look through the book a little bit to see, like, how many, like, how short the chapters are. Not that it matters, because I, I probably end up getting them anyway. By the looks of it, this has really short chapters, which I love. So... Yeah, I mean, just look at how short this chapter is. This is one chapter. This is a whole other chapter. I love that. Anyway, it sounded really good, and I really, honestly, I really like the cover. I don't know why, but I I gravitated toward this cover when I seen it at Walmart. Um, oh, I found my phone stand. <laughs> okay, I got First Position by Melanie Hamrick. Um, I like to dance. I've been into dancing since I was like eight years old. I'm obviously not the greatest, and I don't intend to be the greatest, but it's just something I like to do for fun, especially on TikTok, so I was also in a hip-hop group when I was in, like, grade three or something like that, so when I was eight, I started getting into dancing a little bit. Again, not the greatest, don't intend to be, but yeah, I love watching, like, dance shows, dance, whatever, and so I found this, and I got it. I got Northern Lights by Nora Roberts. I'm literally obsessed with this cover. Like, it's so cute to me. And then I got Billy Summers by Stephen King. I love Stephen King books, even though I own, like, I only own, like, three or four of his books. But, yeah, I know his books are kind of, like, on the longer side. Like, I own it, and it has, like, over a thousand pages, for sure. But I do intend to read it, probably during Halloween-ish. Around October or September, somewhere around there. But yeah. By the way, I think my lights just blinked. Um, we are expecting thunder and rain and stuff. So the power might go out. I don't know. So just a warning for you guys if the lights go off in the middle of filming. And I probably will lose internet and won't be able to post this video. But it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I got Billy Summers by Stephen King. I really want to start reading more of his books because... I, don't, I own like three or four, but I have not read a single one. So, I do want to start reading some of his books because they seem really good. So, yeah. And then, I got The Sleeping Beauty Killer by Mary Higgins Clark and Alifair Burke. And next, I got a big box. Well, not really a big, big box, but it's a box filled with a bunch of books. And they're all James Patterson. So, um, the rest of the books in this box, I'm not even going to pick it up because it might be a bit too heavy for me sitting down, if that makes sense. But all these books in here next to me are James Patterson. Um, there was a yard sale, there was a used book sale at a library about 30 minutes away from my place, um, like where my cabin is. Um, and it started at 10 a.m. that day, and I was supposed to go to work at 12 to 5. And when I went there... And I was sat in, sitting in the parking lot waiting for the place to open. And I get a call from one of my coworkers saying, Hey, can you come in a little bit early for 10, 11 o'clock? And so I was like, well, I'm in this place now. I'm not going to say the actual town, but I'm in this place now. So I can leave now and I'll be there for 11 o'clock. So I wasn't able to make it to that used book sale. But I asked my mom if she can get me a few books. And she promised me she would. So thankfully she did. So thank you, mom. I love you. And my dad, of course. So, at that yard sale, or book sale, I should say, they had fill a box for $5. So, I, they had boxes, like, I would say, yay big, like this big, this thick, somewhere around there. You fill up all the books, you take all the books that you can fit into that box, and you can ha have all of them for 5 bucks. So, I'm just going, again, I'm just going to go rapid fire through these. 
Um, because I really don't want to make this video like a half hour, 45 minutes long. So, and I still have like a full bag to go through. But yeah, moving on. I got Kill Alex Cross by James Patterson. Private London by James Patterson. Don't Blink by James Patterson. Sail by James Patterson. Juror Number no. 3 by James Patterson. Crossfire by James Patterson. Mary Mary by James Patterson. Of course, this is a Christmas one. I freaking love Christmas. Merry Christmas, Alex. Cross by James Patterson. Haunted by James Patterson. A Double Cross by James Patterson. Fifteenth Affair by James Patterson. Roses Are Red by James Patterson. Toys by James Patterson. Twelfth of Never by James Patterson. The Cornwalls Vanish by James Patterson. Now You See Her by James Patterson. Cross the Line by James Patterson. Private Vegas by James Patterson. And lastly, oh, <laughs> Lifeguard by James Patterson. So, yeah. Those are all of the books in that box. And now on to the bag next to it. Now, by the way, there are so many more books that I have to get through. And again, I bought so many books in the past month that I will probably end up Skipping a couple, or not skipping, purposely, but missing a couple. So, because, like, I probably have some of the books put somewhere that I don't even know where they are. But, yeah, knowing me, I'll probably misplace a couple, and I probably will miss a couple. But it is what it is. I got Thank You, Mr. Fokker by Patricia Polacco. Um, the reason I got this one is because when I was in elementary school, there were... There was this website, there is still a website, but literally I don't hear much about it anymore, called Storyline Online, where it's just a bunch of videos of a bunch of diff different celebrities reading a bunch of children's books. And I remember this book specifically, I can't remember which um, celebrity read it, but I remember watching one with this book specifically, and I loved this book so much. It's about this girl who's in elementary school, and she... Um, kind of gets bullied I guess and then um can't really read or spell all that well and then she gets help by or from her teacher Mr. Fokker so it is really good so that's literally one of the only reasons why I bought it and then I also got the entire box set of Roll Dolls collection I got this for like five bucks, I think it was. So it comes with Matilda. Matilda was one of was literally the only reason I bought the set was because I wanted to read Matilda because I love that movie so much. Um, but yeah, it comes with Matilda, Going Solo, The Witches, Danny, The Champion of the World, The BFG, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which I didn't even notice it was in this set until I got home that day. Um, by the way, I got this set at a yard sale. Um, Boy Tales of Childhood, Charlie in the Great Glass Elevator, George's Marvelous Medicine, the Twits, Fantastic Mr. Fox. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce this. I'm guessing it's Ezio Trot. Um, the Magic Finger and the Giraffe and the Pelliony. So, there's that. And then I got another box set. I got the entire The Maze Runner series, which I've heard a bit about, but I never actually gravitated towards it. Um, but I saw the entire set there, and I'm like, okay, I've heard pretty good things, so I'm just going to get it and try it out. And if I like it, I like it. So obviously it comes with the Maze Runner, the Scorch Trials, the Death Cure, and the Kill Order. So there's that. Now, I know there's another bag of books that I got at a bunch of other yard sales, so I'm going to look for them really quickly and see if I can find them. So I can put fit those in this video, too. And I found them. So, this is the last bag of books that I have to show. So, again, rapid fire. Let's do this. I got Safe Haven by Nicholas Sparks. Again, I'm not. I'm going to try not to go into too much detail. Because this video is already like 20 minutes long. And I don't want to make it too much longer. Um, reason I got this book um, was because, literally, I'm not even kidding... The day before I bought this book, literally the night before, I the group chat on Facebook um, for the book club that I'm in, we were literally talking about the, getting this book as our next read. 
I don't know exactly when we're going to read it or if we're going to read it, but literally the night before I got this book, we were talking about reading it sometime soon for our book club. So literally the day, the morning after that, I went to the yard sale and I found it, and of course I had to get it. So next I got Hang the Moon by Jeanette Walls. I got People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. I recently read my first Emily Henry book called Book Lovers, and it sounded really good. And I just had, um, we just had our book club meeting for Book Lovers, because I read that for my book club. Um, so we recently had a meeting for it Monday, this past Monday evening. And so I went, we talked about it, and one of the girls that was also there, there was only three of us, so hopefully our next meeting will be, we'll have more of a what's the word more people will be there basically but one of the girls that was at the meeting for book lovers said that emily henry is one of her favorite authors and so she has read i think she said she read people meet on vacation and we started talking about it so i told i mentioned how i have this book but i haven't read it but i've heard such good things so yeah people meet on vacation by emily henry cannot wait to read it i got Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold. I'm, I'm just, I love this cover. It's just so cute to me. I got Woman on the Edge by Samantha M. Bailey. This just sounds incredible. It's about this woman who gets on a train. She has a newborn baby in her arms. She gives her baby to this random woman, and then she jumps off the train. It just sounds so good. Or, is it a train? Subway, train, whatever. But yeah, it just sounds amazing. Cannot wait to read that one. I got Santa and Steps In by Jan Janet Daly. Again, I freaking love Christmas, so of course I had to get some Christmas books. Are you kidding me? Another Christmas book, Santa in Montana by, again, Janet, Janet Daly. Again, this book, I'm, like, obsessed with the cover. I think this is one of the prettiest covers I've ever seen on a book. I don't know why. It's just so cute to me. The one that got away by Lee Himes. Again, literally, the cover is the biggest reason why I bought this book. It's just so cute. I love it. I got Dork Diaries, Tales from a Not-So-Smart Miss Know-It-All, which I don't own that many Dork Diaries books, but I remember reading some of them in school, in elementary school, and I loved them. So I got one. I got Chicken Soup for the Teenage Soul on stu Tough Stuff. I got... Pineapple Street by Jenny Jackson. I got Malice by Lisa Jackson. I got Big Summer by Jennifer Weiner. I got two more, and that is it for today's video. The Light at the End by John Skip and Craig Spector. And lastly, Blood Dance by David Monroe. That is it for my July monthly book haul. Um, again, every month, at the end of every month so like at the end of august that's september october whatever all the books if any that i bought that month if i bought enough books to make a video about it i will make a video showing all the books that i bought that month like i did today and man this is a lot <laughs> i have the un i'm yeah i have the unhealthiest obsession with books and buying books in general yeah anyway that is it for today's video if you guys enjoyed it give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you like to see more content from me and i will see you guys next week for another video Bye, guys.